my gummy night. So, I just watched a new uh, Frozen 2 trailer coming out 2019 sometime in November. I mean, of course, it's like a beginning trailer. It's like nothing really to tell you anything about the movie, and I wouldn't expect you to. But it is a quite long trailer that tells you virtually nothing. Um, so, like, you got Elsa over here doing... I, I guess she's working on her powers and training by going against the forces of nature. I mean, that that's cool and all, but it looks like they're constantly battling nature here. I mean, I don't know what's going on. It's really confusing. And look, I know people are probably like, oh, wow, a trailer tells you nothing about the movie because we've gotten so used to that. And I can kind of see that point. I kind of see where it's like, oh, yeah, well, we definitely gotten used to trailers that kind of, like, reveal something about the movie, you know, or give us a little bit of... Uh, insight to the movie. Most of the time, you gotta realize that those usually come from spoiler channels and news channels, and they always tell you, they always give you a warning if you don't want to be spoiled. Sometimes people watch those, and then they go back and look at the movie or look at the trailer again. It's like, oh yeah, I can see that. Or, or, if it's not that, then it's people know the material. Like, we looked at the new Avengers trailer, a lot of people already knew the material. Like, when we saw Ronan for the first time, people were like, okay, yeah, I know who Ronan is. Right? I knew Ronan from the comic books. And so, yeah, I was like, oh, wow, this is, you know, not that much of a, it's a surprise, but it's not that much of a surprise. It's kind of like something to get you excited because you can tell that's a part of the movie that you recognize, right? And this movie, you know nothing about it. You don't recognize the story or whatever. So it seems like people are kind of going through training, but then they kind of did it like an adventure S trailer because you get the, the battle music, you get Kristoff over here riding on a bunch of reindeers. I mean, it's like, well, what the fuck is going on? <laughs> it's so confusing and disjointing and, and, um, you know, incoherent, but you're kind of excited. I mean... I like the prospect of Elsa training to utilize her abilities a little bit more. I mean, and I guess you kind of like see that like in, when Anna goes into that room right there and there's like a bunch of cr uh, crystal stalactites around. You're thinking, okay, maybe that's Elsa like figuring out new uh, abilities and things of that nature. I know somebody was like talking about she's walking on water or whatever like in the comments, but it's, she's not walking on water. She's more like spreading ice across the water. She's really kind of like taking to her own. She's kind of like Iceman, really. She, that's what she's reminding me more of. Not current Iceman, but Iceman back in the day when he was cool and not just a propaganda piece. But yeah, so... <laughs> I really don't understand what's going on, but it looks fun. It looks um, creative. And the one thing I like is no wokeness, no woke -titude, right? That, uh, that's what I be getting on these Disney films about. Like, I remember, like, when I was um, looking at the Wreck-It Ralph uh, 2 trailer. And, again, when they showed us that part in the film about, you know, the wokeness. And there were other factors in, in um, several other trailers that produced a little bit of wokeness as well. But that's what I was talking about when I was like, you know, I'm glad they didn't do any of that. Because, you know, there was a big rumor going around that they were just going to make Elsa gay. And she may still be, like, gay in this movie. I don't know. Before somebody criticizes me for that, it's like, I don't have a problem with gay people or her being gay or her being lesbian. Well, I do have a problem with it if it's, if it's being pushed as propaganda piece because they have if they have no other reason because they but they making her gay because they think that'll make your character interesting. It doesn't, right? Your sexuality does not make your character interesting. It is an individualistic part of you, right? It is a superficial trait. It is something that is naturally part of you. It does not define you. It's not a defining quality of who you are. And they're basically saying that because it was like propaganda. It was propagandized about some of the messaging in the original Frozen about you know I don't need no man. You know I ain't trying to get rescued by a prince or you know something like that. Uh, there was a lot going on with that, and people have constantly criticized that movie for a lot of the messaging, and it's like, what does it try to teach girls, especially like with Elsa, is it like trying to teach them they're empowered, do they have to let go of their worries or get rid of responsibility, or is it trying to teach them how to be empowered? So it was really confusing messaging that was going on there, but that's all I, that's all I want. I don't want propaganda. Right? I don't want you pushing a narrative just because you're trying to win brownie points or political points. Now look, I like this trailer. I do. Right? I think the animation is pretty top quality. I think it's pretty top notch. I mean, nothing really seems out of place for the characters, except maybe like they're constantly in a war zone. Like at the ending scene where Anna just takes Kristoff's sword and slashes at us or the camera. Uh, that perspective or point of view, I forget what it's called. It's a camera trick where you, where you do that. Ba but yeah, basically that perspective or point of view. Um, she's obviously attacking an enemy or something like that, or somebody who she thinks she's an enemy, but, you know, just looking at us, and it's supposed to represent to us, like, hey, this movie's gonna be action-packed, this movie's gonna have this, that, and this, something to, it engages you, it gets you interested, because it's like, what, she's slicing at me? Whoa, that's cool, let me go check that out. And this is actually working out well, but like I said, the animation, the the sound design, right, the, char the characters look still pretty good, and I'm liking some of the new details and other designs within the characters, like outfit choice and aesthetic and all of that nature. But yeah, I'm still kind of confused on whether or not this is even a real trailer. <laughs> I know, I know, I've seen it, but even I still don't feel like it's real. I'm not asking for you to show me more, and of course, like, over the course leading up to the film, they're probably going to show you more with more trailers, but I'm not asking you to show me more, I just want a little bit more cohesion. That's all I'm asking for, it's like, can you take me from point A to point B without leaving me feeling like my brain just got splattered all across the winds, okay, man, I don't want to end up looking like fucking Marvin from Pulp Fiction, okay? I don't want to be that guy, I don't want my brains to be like that. So don't, don't John Travolta me, is all I'm saying. Don't John Travolta me. Anyway, I hope you guys like the trailer, and tell me what you think down in the comments below. Catch you in the next one. Peace. Yo, yo, all oh, you sucker MCs ain't got nothing on me. From my grades to my lines, you can't touch a Kevin G. I'm a math leaf, a nerd isn't first, but forget what you heard. I'm like James Bond the third. Just shaking, not stirred. I'm Kevin the poor. The G is silent when I sneak in your door. Make love to your woman on the bathroom floor. I don't
play like Shaq, you'll know it was me. Cause the next time you see her, she'll be like, oh.